Perhaps this is a refresher that we all need. Be careful who you're in your friend circle, because sometimes the people closest to you might not have your best interests at heart. <laughs> that certainly sounds like a good, uh, it's somewhat maybe familiar, but a, you know, a good pitch for an entertaining thriller, especially for one of the TV variety that Mar Vista Entertainment is known for. Yes, this is one of theirs. <laughs> I'm sure probably some of you at this point, if you follow me for long enough, you know exactly who Mar Vista Entertainment is, but if you're not... They're primarily a TV distribution company, so movies that you might watch on, well, especially a lot of them have been featured on Lifetime, maybe a couple other networks. Uh, Tubi has a whole bunch on their streaming service, a couple other ones as well. I think there's some on Netflix, and probably some others uh, jostled around in different places. But again, as I said, they're primarily a TV company, and they're very well known, at least you know, from my understanding, for doing thrillers. <laughs> Namely, romantic thrillers. This is not. This seems to be a bit, a bit different, but very interesting. Now, we'll see again if Mar Vista remains true to form, not just in their style of storytelling, but in, you know, the more infamous traits or what they're known for, which would be giving very spoiler-filled trailers, which is unusual to me. As I, I keep saying, I think it's funny. I'm still kind of like, though, every other studio, they know better than to do this, but Mar Vista has a tendency to take a, in this case, we'll say an 87-minute movie. I think it's 87 minutes. It's a standard TV length, about 90 minutes-ish. And they'll boil it down to a three-minute trailer where they give you everything. They don't leave anything, you know, up to the chance of potential discovery for the future. They just reveal all the plot points outright. And when, if you want to watch a film in a very condensed form, this is the way to do it. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, I, I give trailer the trailer because sometimes you'll find it. You'll find a movie that looks good, and I've seen a couple more Vista films that I think have been enjoyable, even though I've known the spoilers perhaps going in when I didn't really need to. So let's go ahead and take a look. As I said... What I gave you is essentially the, the premise, but this is what it says according to IMDb. When a woman's best friend goes missing, she must work quickly to determine whether her friend's abductor is someone close to home. Hmm, who could that be? Potentially, maybe a, a, a jealous uh, romantic, perhaps? Maybe it's somebody being like, oh, you know, I want to date you, but your best friend's in the way. You have never, no any time for me. What if I remove that person? <laughs> I don't know. I'm assuming maybe that the best friend is another woman. So maybe, you know, gal pals, but it, it, then one goes missing. And so the guy's like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll forget all about her. I don't think that would be the case. Let's go ahead and see what this movie looks like. We're going to go ahead and watch the trailer for A Date with Danger. Cute name. Is there any alternate title or is that... The only title that... Okay. Sometimes you'll find a Marvis movie with two titles. That sounds fine. Anyway, as I said, we're going to watch the trailer for this first, and we'll talk about it more in my condensed review segment. Follow us watching the video together. Okay, these are always fun to watch, even though, again, I always end up, well, for the most part, seeing the entire movie played out in front of me. But, hey, it's, it's fun. And, and, you know, I like thrillers, and these are somewhat tame, but they're short. They're fun. Here we go. Welcome to Not Your Mama's It's a gritty presentation. Yeah, I like that. Down. Yes, this can be my job interview outfit. Oh, I've been looking for some help around here. Can you start today? Just like that? I have a good feeling about you. Why are you doing this? Because I see a lot of myself in you. Shall we let our guests in? Hi. Hi, Brooke. This is my daughter, Anna. Okay. So is this the best it's, friend? It's been a while. How's it? Hi. Nikki. <laughs> Small town. Uh, I'm Gavin. And how do you know where Liz? Uh, Liz just hired me. Congratulations. He's cute. Good kisser, too. Oh, are you two are... No, but we used to be. Ooh, ooh. I'm getting to vibe yeah. where this is going. For Anna. This is my place of business. Probably a lot of us are, I'm sure. Is everything okay? My ex-husband. I avoid him whenever I can. Hey! Hi! Latte with almond milk. <laughs> I have a couple tickets to Fireside 7. Maybe you'd like to join me. I don't want to overstep. My ex-husband, Dan, he was a charmer. Expensive gifts. Kevin, what are you doing here? I got something for you. He had me moving in with him, quitting my job. I know we've only known each other a little while. So no, take it slow with this guy. I'd like you to move in. Dating Gavin was like Dan, the sequel. What did Liz tell you? She thinks we need to take a step back. There's a side of her that's kind of cruel. I really like you, Gavin, but I'm not ready for a serious relationship right now. Okay. Well, sign up boundaries. Don't make me call the police. My mom didn't come to pick me up. She's not answering her phone. Liz? When was the last time you talked to Miss Cole? Earlier today, I saw Maybe it's just going straight forward to where I assumed originally it might. Like he's this monster. He did get pretty threatening. Nikki, right? Whoa, 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 back it up. 
Did you notice anything unusual? Gavin, I need to see you. Give me a minute, and I'll call you a rib after Please call me if you think of anything else. It's not good, is it? I'll come by the cafe. No, 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 I'm not at the cafe. Where is she, Gavin? Do they have any leads? What happened to her? There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I, at first I was kind of like, maybe, are they going to reveal her? They just kind of, well, they, they kind of did, essentially. You could sense it was going there. And then they have to include that one end shot. We're like, okay, there's the certification. We all know where, where we're going. That could have gone a whole variety of ways. I mean, again, if they had left the trailer open-ended, it would have been more effective. I would imagine to bring in a general audience rather than people being like, well, I feel like I've watched the movie now. Because, I mean, it could have been, I definitely saw Baby Potential where I'm like, oh, at first, as I said, and it seemed to be going this way that it's the guy being like, well, you know, obviously, I didn't, I didn't take into account the relationship and that the best friend. Uh, this seems a bell the other Marvista films. I can't name it at the time. Maybe I won't be able to. I, I don't know. I, I know I've heard this pitch before. Maybe it's not even Marvista. Maybe it's outside of that. But it seems like a familiar pitch with the best friend, so and so dated, and then the fr person that she befriends happens to take an interest in the guy. You know, I, I I've heard this pitch before and it would have been great i think but again even then i was looking at it being like oh maybe is it the woman who's like maybe you know she wants nothing to do with him and obviously there's a lot of animosity from you know whatever resulted from their relationship and how they you know, how it broke up and perhaps she takes steps to get him out of her life and her friend's life I don't know. Again, like I said, it could have gone a variety of ways. But it did go the traditional Marvista romantic thriller path. <laughs> but not, and that's not bad. I just prefer to be able to explore that in the context of the film. Because the open-ended aspect to it, I'm like, well, that could go any other direction. You know, why couldn't you leave me guessing of who's the captors? It could be kind of a clever mystery. But then the Marvista marketing department's like, nah, screw all that. We're going to do something different. We're going to take the easy approach. You're like... That kind of takes the fun out of it, though. But hey, it looks like a good movie. It looks well shot. I mean, again, like a low standard, you know, television budget. But hey, isn't this competent? What are your guys' thoughts with A Date with Danger? I, I do like that title quite a bit. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget all the good stuff with like, subscribing, and sharing that bell until we get to watch more from our Vista, because of course we will. <laughs> I will see you guys at whatever point that happens to be. But for now, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Remember, love yourselves, your fellow man. God bless and peace.